Omid Scobie published an article about Charles being booed. And here's what he had to say. That protest and apathy. Why King Charles should be worried about the rise of indifference and republicanism. And yes, Charles must be worried. My family, to remind you of those protests, as I read you this article from Omid Scobie, just once again, please hear this, my family. My family, as you've heard once again, the protests are growing louder, 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 and louder. And I'm happy that Omid Kobe did indeed talk about this. And here's what he had to say in his article. And I quote, Now King Charles' coronation may be just around the corner, but there has been a noticeable shift in how the monarch is viewed across the country. And when Queen Elizabeth II would step out for engagements, there was an excitement that would fill the town or street she was appearing at. In all stages of her reign, people would regularly Line up for hours just to catch a glimpse of the monarch, or if they're lucky, get the chance to say hello. For those stuck several rows of people away, Her Majesty had them in mind too, with the bright sartorial choices always making it easy to spot her in the crowds. As she said, in the past, to be seen is to be believed. However, Omid Scobie says that, but since Charles became king in September, there's a reason why he may not want to follow suit. You see, his engagements have played out a little differently from his mother's. From flung eggs flying perilously close to himself and Camilla, the queen consort, to heckles of not my king. As you have heard, the head of state's welcome into his new role has not been universally warm. And a poll was conducted just a couple of days ago in Canada about whether or not they want to keep the monarch as the head of state. And majority of the people were saying no. They want to abolish the monarchy. They want to get rid of Charles as the head of state. They don't want to be ruled by Charles. And my family, also, on this booze that we see increasing, my family, it is also because the royal family, from King Charles to William, have been telling the press to write articles, you know, calling for Harry and Meghan to be booed. That's what they've been doing. And guess what? People are listening. And they're being told it's okay to boo members of the royal family. And they are obliging. And that's what they're doing to Charles, William, Kate, Camilla, however, not to Harry and Meghan. It's karma, really. It's karma. Now, Omid Scobie says that, in fact, since the death of the late queen, there has been a notable shift in how the monarch and his consort has been received across the country. Now, polls show that while in the UK, some 
people in the country still believe in having a monarchy. Support for the royal family has become softer than ever before. Now my family, first of all, Omis Kobi, I have to say you are wrong really. Because of you are using YouGov's poll. The polls. And the polls that they have are normally always biased. Always biased. Time and time again. I mean, we saw YouGov even do a poll. A poll whether Archie and Lilibet by racial grandchildren of the current reigning monarch should have titles. Should be styled as prince and princess. When have you ever seen them ask whether the white kids in the royal family should be styled as prince and princess? I'll wait because I've never ever seen that. It's only ever happened to the mixed race kids of Harry and Meghan. And there lies the racism. My family, there lies the racism. Racism is not just about calling someone the N-word. No, it's how you treat kids, black kids, compared to white kids. That's racism. And Archie and Lilibet are being treated poorly by members of the royal family. And it shows, really, it shows from how the royal family are leaking. Hey, look, Archie and Lilibet are not invited to the coordination. No one expected for Harry and Meghan to bring them and make them attend Charles' coronation. No one expected them to do that. However, the royal family keeps on showing, leaking, that they have rejected Archie and Lilibet. I find that so, so wrong. So, so wrong, my family. So, so wrong. Now, Omid says that, and for groups such as Republic, who have advocated for the replacement of the monarchy with a parliamentary republic since 2006. The moment has provided an opportunity to be heard. And they're calling for the monarchy to be abolished. And the louds, the boos, are increasing every single day. Now, Omid says that with the farm no longer shielded by the nationwide reverence and respect shown towards Elizabeth II, some at least now feel far more comfortable to air the true views about the royal establishment. My family, even Rupert Murdoch himself, someone whom Joe Biden has called a dangerous man, whom Harry has called an evil person, has said himself that the royal family are not a good family. If he can say that, then who else can even complain or even say otherwise? However, since Rupert Murdoch needs the royal family for clickbait, they make deals with the palace to give them good press and the palace gives them access. That's the deal they made. And my family, I'm against this contract, this invisible contract that the palace has with UK tabloids. Because sadly, Prince Harry was born when that contract had already been made. And they feel like everyone born in the royal family should abide by that contract, even when you abuse members of the royal family. I find that wrong. I find that wrong. My family. And my family, I firmly believe that a son or daughter should never ever be punished for the sins of a father or mother. And that's why this contract that was made by Harry's ancestors, my family, Prince Harry, should not be forced or bullied into playing this game as part of this unspoken contract between the tabloids and the royal family. That's what, you know, I feel basically.
If someone wants no part of it, don't send threats to that person to force him to play the game like what they've done with Harry. The threats, for instance, like Harry can expect no mercy following decision to go rogue and quit. I mean, when you bully someone like how they bullied Prince Harry, you can't expect someone to just sit there and take it, especially someone who blamed the tabloid media for the loss of his mother. Especially someone who goes on record and said that instead of the paparazzi that were chasing his mother to her death, instead of helping her, they were taking pictures of his late mother as she lay at the back of her car, dying and not helping her. And those photos ended up on the front desks of the UK tabloid media. You can't expect someone who blames you, the tablets, for the loss of his mother, rightfully so, for refusing to play the game after losing his mother, after watching the mental anguish that his wife was going through while pregnant with their first child, Archie. The bullying never stopped. William never ever condemned racism towards Meghan Markle or Archie, not once. And that's why we always call them out for their hypocrisy. Where William and Charles have no right whatsoever to say that, hey look, that they're anti-racists. That they are against racism. When they, their own family, have profited immensely from slavery. From causing harm to people of color. And we call them out for their hypocrisy. If they really were genuine, they would pay reparations for slavery. But that is not what the royal family are doing. That's not what they're doing. They don't want to pay back the money that they made from slavery. And don't forget, the UK government paid back slave owners my family, they pay back all the owners of slaves, but never ever paid the actual slaves who endured torture, suffering, harm. My family, never ever forget that. Now, my family, Omid Scobie says that at Monday's Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey, the pressure group's chants could be heard echoing from the street and through the Great West Door. And a demonstration during Charles and Camilla's May 7th visit to Colchester, Essex. The couple were greeted by booze from a group of campaigners who shouted, Why are you wasting our money? And don't you believe in democracy, Charles. It's a sight Queen Elizabeth II rarely ever had to deal with. But for King Charles, it's quickly become too common an occurrence. I like that. I like that part. Exactly as we have been saying, this booze towards Charles are becoming something common that we are seeing more oftenly, time and time again, the boos are becoming louder. They're becoming, you know, a common occurrence. My family, day in, day out. Well, that's what happens when you tell the public that it's okay to boo members of the royal family because you're hoping that they boo Harry and Meghan. Well, in reality, don't forget one thing. Harry and Meghan don't live in the UK. They live in the US. And guess what? The protesters are booing you, Charles. They're booing you, William. And it is karma. Whatever evil you wish to happen upon Harry and Meghan is happening 
to William and Charles themselves. Now, founder Graham Smith says that, and I quote, While Republic has its work cut out, it is notable that this is the first time since the introduction of universal suffrage that there has been an active and unapologetic Republican movement. Founder of Republic, Graham Smith tells Omid Scobie. And behind palace walls, Omid Scobie says that there is little worry at present about a growing Republican sentiment in the UK. My family, it's so shameful that the royal family, with its own actions, with its own cruelty, is basically shooting itself on the foot by kicking out Harry and Meghan, who were clearly so loved by people at the Commonwealth, by people in the UK, because William, Kate, Charles and Camilla were jealous about the attention and popularity that Harry and Meghan got, instead of supporting people that made them relevant. My family, why does the monarchy shoot itself on the foot? Then suddenly wonders, why is there growing Republican sentiment in the UK? The evil you do is why the Republican sentiment in the UK grows. Because of the evil actions that people are seeing the royals do to Harry and Meghan. Because of William's physical assault of Prince Harry. People don't want a king who's violent towards his own brother. I mean, if he is like that, if William is like that and treats Harry, his own brother, in the manner he treats him, abusing Prince Harry, then what happens when he becomes king? Those are the questions in the minds of the public. And there is no way to justify William's abuse of Harry. No way, no matter how hard they try, there is no way to justify William's abuse of Harry. Now, my family, they are saying that there was never any doubt that the public sentiment towards the royal family would change with the king, King Charles. There are plenty of positive things to be focused on. It is worth noting that neither those shouting, God save the king, or calling out, not my king, at royal engagements represent the average opinion towards the royal family. Both lie at either ends of the spectrum. But somewhere in the middle is a great group that the institution should perhaps be worried about. Those who don't care either way. And recent polls highlight a growing apathy towards the royal family in recent years. Indeed, even in Omid Scobie's own experiences, we're talking about my work at universities across the country, Omid says, and I quote, I found that students often admit to an indifference towards the royal family. And the royal family must be concerned. They must be worried about this. They must be worried. It is no longer enough to just smile for the cameras and wave. That is no longer enough. And if they continue to do that, then things will go from bad to worse. For members of the royal family, for the royal family in general, things will go from bad to worse. 
Now, my family, Omid says that news outlets focused on younger audiences have seen a similar reaction. Sophie Pichi, a journalist and producer at the news movement, says that young readers see the royals as just another dynasty. And that's true. They are just another dynasty who have clutched onto power for a long, long time and it must come to an end. The monarchy must be abolished because of its evilness. That's why. And also because of its poor work ethic. I mean, when I see Kay Moulton counting a phone call as an engagement, it's just so, so disgraceful to see that happen. And she calls it an engagement listed in the court circular. I mean, have you no shame? Have you no shame, Kay Moulton, listing a phone call as an engagement? Have you no shame? And people are taking note. You know, people are taking note. However, the royal family and the tabloid media blame Harry and Meghan. They say they are destroying the royal family. No. No. No, 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 no. That is wrong. The only threat to the monarchy is the monarchy itself. It's its own evil actions, but not Harry and Meghan. The threat to the monarchy is the monarchy itself, but not Harry and Meghan. Not Harry and Meghan. The monarchy itself. Make no mistake whatsoever about that. My family. Now, Sophie Peachy said that, and I quote, what we found was that what Gen Z was interested in was not the people. It is the institution as a whole. It is the themes that shroud the monarchy. She said at the Society of Editors Media Freedom Conference on Wednesday, adding that particular popular videos included who actually is King Charles. And as the public want a monarchy, my family, the royal family, must be afraid of those questions. They must be afraid and concerned about those questions. In fact, on Friday, a young couple aligned the youth movement, no more royals, jumped the security ropes and sneaked onto a bed at Windsor Castle to protest against the royal family, against the royal family, and Charles must have been informed about this. My family, just picture if someone went into Harry and Meghan's home from a cottage that they have been kicked out while Harry and Meghan were there, for instance, in the past, and went to say, no more royals. Just imagine how many media outlets would focus on that. How many? Many. But it's clear that the media are told, don't talk about this. What just happened? My family, but I'm happy that Omid Kobi is talking about this, my family. Now, that person, a young couple, aligned the youth movement, aligned to the youth movement, said this, and I quote, we have to choose between hitting our homes or putting food on the table while the king plans a multi-million pound pageant, they wrote in a tweet. My family. And the media is more focused on a lie that Harry and Meghan did not pay rent for from a cottage. Then what was that 2.4 million pounds that they paid for a cottage that did not belong to them? For a cottage that was not property belonging to Harry and Meghan? The royal family are doing this to deflect, to create folks outrage from the public towards Harry and Meghan. My family. And they're using these same, same arguments. 
used my family just as has been said people in the uk have to choose between hitting their homes or putting food on the table while the king plans a multi million pound pageant and people are not happy and the royal family are trying to deflect that to harry maker to get them trashed and bullied so people don't talk about the multi million pound pageant the money that is being spent on Charles coronation my family clearly it just isn't working now as graham smith admits the growing apathy is an even bigger problem than republic campaigners we can't keep raising awareness of the problems and scandals of the monarchy getting people to understand why it's worth caring about getting rid of it he says and that includes connecting the institution to issues of identity social justice and democratic reform the royals will struggle to re-engage the indifferent there just isn't any reason for people to be interested in them any more than any other celebrity family someone called graham smith say that it's true words but he is not alone the front runner in the race to replace first minister nicola sturgeon this week declared that scotland could ditch the monarchy within five years of independence and replace king charles with an elected head of state my family that should worry the monarchy and my family the monarchy is doing everything in its power to stop that from happening they don't want to lose scotland they don't want to lose scotland now the scottish national party politician told the national and the court i don't know why we should be shy about that I've been very clear. I'm a Republican. There has never been anything I have hidden. People in Scotland themselves appear divided on the issue. With one poll showing that 50% of people think the monarchy is worth keeping. That's basically a lie. Stop using polls done by YouGov. The problem I see here is that my family Omis Kobe is using polls done by YouGov. How can you use a poll done by YouGov where we are told the members of the royal family meet up with people working at YouGov? For YouGov to spread propaganda that they are popular and that Harry and Meghan are not popular. If the media can't stop talking about the unpopular members of the royal family as they say harry megan because every day it's a chatter about harry megan megan still ends up on the front pages of uk tablets and she does not live there it's been three years since megan left three years but she still ends up on the front pages of uk tablet media not a day goes by without that happening and the press called them irrelevant so omits kobe scotland is not happy with the monarchy and they do want to abolish it now at king charles may the sixth coronation may the sixth coronation republic are expecting their largest ever turnout for a protest compared to the thousands out in the streets celebrating it will no doubt be a comparatively smaller crowd but argue smith we will have the advantage of standing out having a powerful message and making an impact greater than our size showing the world that we are not a nation of psycho fans i like that i like that i like that and royalists is hugely important 
and will help shift the debate on to asking why people oppose the monarchy. And after the coronation, we will continue to protest at royal events attended by Charles and William. Continue to ask them difficult questions and continue to tell them that they'll never be our king. Perhaps it's time for them to start warring. And indeed, it is time. William needs to get a real job once and for all because what he has is not a real job. My family. And the boos are louder. The chants against Charles and the royal family are becoming huge and huger by the day. And that is what I call karma. For telling people it's okay to boo members of the royal family. Well, guess what? That's what they're doing. But to Charles and William themselves. Never to Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan are loved, my family. So what do you think about Omis Kubi's article? I'd like to hear you on that, please. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lebedana, and Doria Raglan, and all of you, members of the squad at home. Stay tuned to our next video. Hey never wins. Only love wins, my family. Harry and Megan are loved. Well, things are not looking good for the royal family, for King Charles, Camilla, Kate, and William. They are being booed everywhere they go. And that's what they deserve. Stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.